in the sum length is 90 height is 50 and width is 50 now we have to draw the sum using isometric scale so what we need to do first we need to draw isometric scale that is first you need to draw angle 30 degree then 45 degree and on this 45 degree line you have to mark true length so what is the maximum length 90 so we need to mark 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 mm and we will take 10 mm on the left side so we will mark true length like that and then we will draw a straight line so wherever we will get on 30 degree line so that length will be isometric length now we will start with this if you see in front view there are two parts part 1 and part 2 so which one is nearer to you part 1 right part 2 is in between so first we will draw part 1 now we need to take 90 so we won't be taking 90 original length what we will do we will take 90 isometric length so that is from here to here this length we will take so this is 90 star so I will take that length and I will cut it on my box so this what I've got is isometric length now height is 50 so what I will do I will take from here to here this point to this point I will take this length that will be 50 because it is 40 plus 10 50 so I will take this length and I will cut it here for height as well as width so I got layout so we got 90 star 50 star and 50 star why I am saying star because it, those are not original length those are isometric length now to take 15 I will take 10 from here and 5 from here so I need to be careful by taking the dimension I will take 15 here I will take 10 from here and 5 from here and I will take it from this isometric length and I will mark on this length same way they have given 40 and 50 so what I will do I can take 40 from here to here see this this is 40 that I can take and I can cut on this side I can go up so I got front view now we need to draw circle so radius for that circle is 15 so what I will do first I will find out the midpoint of this that is 25 so I will take 20 from here 5 from here and I will cut midpoint of the side then from there I have to draw rhombus we need to draw rhombus for it is 15 so the rhombus would be how much 30 so what we will do we will take 15 from here see this now remember one thing we have to take all the lengths from isometric length so you take 15 from here and you cut from here you cut up down left right and you draw rhombus after that we will follow the same procedure we will draw longest diagonal from this midpoint this midpoint we will draw lines and from here point 1 we can draw this arc from here we can draw this arc and we can complete this so we got front surface now if you see that this entire part is behind also how much we have to go behind 50 so since we have already drawn the box we can mark directly behind Now, this circle we need to draw it behind also. So, how much we have to go from this point? We have to go behind 50 star. Like this distance only. See, everywhere it is same distance. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, what we are taking? We are taking this dimension. And we will cut it over here. 
again take the same radius take this radius and from here you cut off this side take this radius and from here you draw like this so now we are done with one part now we need to draw part two now if you see part two how much it is behind if you see top view you will come to know it is 20 behind from here it is going behind by 20 so what we need to do again we need to take 20 from this scale isometric length we will take 20 from here we will cut it on this side as well as this side and we can draw this we can join this also after that 10 again I can take 10 from here see always remember we have to take isometric length to so take this 10 star cut on this side this side and join and then you can draw the behind portion as well this would be done so we have drawn isometric projection of the given diagram using isometric scale.